so good morning so today we are going to discuss about the unit 3 of engineering mechanics so the third unit that is what colors properties of planes and solids so here we are going to discuss about first of all we are going to discuss about a term called centroid so what is mean by centroid and secondly we are going to discuss about center of gravity so these two terms centroid and center of gravity are more or less similar terms but the centroid is specifically for the planes or lamina and the center of gravity is specifically for the solids so first of all we can discuss about the centroid so the point the point where which the entire area of the lamina or plane is assumed to be concentrated so this point the point where the entire area of the lamina is assumed to be concentrated that is what called as centroid so let me explain with a sketch so you can take this as a plane lam lamina this is y this is x so here we can divide into different number of planes like so this is the total area can be taken as a and this is the element 1 a1 a2 a3 and etc etc so here i am assuming a point this point so where the entire area a1 a2 a3 is assumed to be concentrated that point is what called as centroid that is denoted by the notation called g so the distance between y to that centroid point is what called as x four and the distance between the centroid point from the x axis is what called as y bar so centroid can be written as x bar comma y bar so this centroid is specifically applicable only for the plane or the lamina the next center of gravity this is applicable only for the solid elements so this is for 2d so this will be for 3d so the point where which the entire weight of the element is assumed to act vertically downwards in the solid so this is our call as center of gravity so this is also a point where the weight of the element is assumed to be act so let me explain with a diagram so x axis so y axis so this is the element so this is a 3d element so here also i can say so the weight the total weight can be taken as some w so this will act in the downward direction so here you can take as 1 2 3 etc so here i can take a point so this is the point where the entire weight is assumed to act so this point is what called as center of gravity it will be denoted by cg so here also you can see that the distance from the y axis is taken as x4 and the distance from the x axis is taken as y bar so center of gravity cg is equal to x bar comma y bar so here is the center of gravity point if you are rotating this element so this will be constant irrespective of the position or orientation 
So if you are rotating this element means also the center of gravity will be constant. So here I can see the examples the element will be some rectangle, square, circle etc. So here we have the basic formula for these basic elements and here you can take the examples the solids, cylinder, cone, sphere etc. So here in centroid case we can go for the composite planes that means more than one basic element so you can take this as a rectangle and a semicircle is here so this is called as composite plane or laminar thank you